Well, hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Star Wars review and of another Episode 9 set, or Rise of Skywalker set, actually, whatever. And this one is on the Sith Troopers Battle Pack, all new for 2020. So, on the front of the box here, it has that same border that we've seen since the first wave in Fall 2019. And then Disney logo and picture of the set in action. And age recommendation is six and up. Set number 75266 has 105 pieces. And on the back, you see it in a resting position, how to shoot out the stunt shooter, and yeah. And on to the booklet with same pictures on the front and everything. And also now saying uh, instructions plus. And flip open all that and how to use instructions plus or rather Lego Life. And on the back, win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set and add for the Skywalker Saga game. Add for the other winter 2020 set. And add for Lego Life of course. And the last steps. First of all, for the meaning fix is the Sith Trooper meaning fix, which in the last wave was in Kylo Ren's shuttle, but this was a, a lot cheaper alternative to getting this one. So if you weren't able to afford a uh, Kylo Ren shuttle set, then this is the good opportunity for that. But besides that, the printings, everything done just about the same. Back doors open, also the same. Okay, another spin again. And of course, the annoying angry clone face. And a we get two of in this set is the Sith Jetpack Trooper. Well, helmet part of which, about the same as the Jet Trooper that came in the a Passana Spear Chase set in back in winter, fall 2019. But it's in red. Well, everything kind of the same, but in red for the Sith. And Jetpack also about the same, but with a different tile added on. And just like and like that one, the clone face, annoying angry clone face. There's a horror. And lastly is the new Sith First Order Officer. And his torso print of which done quite nicely. And although the hat of which also kind of the same as most other First War officers. And as uh, there's his back torso print just slightly, but no double sided face. And the face print of which about the same as Bruce Wayne and Loki both have. But not at all any leg print, which is kind of odd for many things nowadays. But at least good thing not seeing that in a uh, Marvel DC one. Okay, there we go. Well, the prints of which done quite interesting, like both on the hat and on the belt buckle. Uh, anyways, and the black part does have a little tap piece on it, but more on that later. And it's on the back again. And that is about it for our anything. And now into the main build of the set, which to me looks like a small form of a First Order Snowspeeder, of which of course was in the Force Awakens for about like a minute or ten seconds. Well, whichever length it is, you could say. But the front part of which, of which has the jagged slopes there and. Or the color scheme mainly light gray, dark gray, and sand blue. Kind of quite in, kind of interesting. And I don't remember if this was in, I think this was in the movie. Like probably a few of them during. The, uh, not gonna spoil any of the film. 
but on the front part which does have a 2x4 jumper there and one of those uh, little uh, attachment pieces or clip pieces so you can put this stunt shooter on it and it acts as a little turret. And although I do have some of those like uh, bracketed uh, joint pieces and further up is some sort of single cockpit area, enough space to fit your uh, restore officer trooper in, and the side one as well, and another one of those, and more of those jumpers as well, a pair of astromech droid heads but acting as jet engine turbines, and do have that from the back as well, and the fez pieces acting as uh, engine back parts. And from the bottom, do you have one of the clear uh, under bracket pieces and those two under or reverted slopes, but rounded ones. And makes it uh, maneuver around a flat surface pretty good. And like some, just about as good as some other battle pack builds. And of course, enough space to fit your sit trooper or anything in the front. And yeah. And so now let's call it the final verdict. So for my overall verdict on this, which kind of interesting, but as for the selection of minifigs, I would suggest as like ditch one of the jet troopers and include just yet another first or sith trooper and since of course it's kind of a bit more worthy of army building anyways but although i although, although you do get plenty of nice sam blue for your mocking and also a new first or officer which is kind of interesting but although see just around a few of them in the movie but and yeah, if you're like looking to continue your army, you're building your first order army, then go ahead and get as many of these as you can. And if you're looking to get some extra pieces or same blue pieces for your mocking, then also go ahead and pick this up. And if you're continuing your collection of Rise of Skywalker sets, also go ahead and pick this up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.